you think UFOs come from overactive imaginations, a trip to Trout Lake in Washington State might change your mind because people there say fleets of UFOs appear there quite often and sometimes even communicate with earthlings below. Coin 6 News reporter David Okarski traveled there today to see the evidence. Um, I think I was magnetized to this place because of the journey I was on and I had a, a near-death experience 20 years ago which blew me wide open into what I call interdimensional mind where I could actually connect with, with uh, spiritual masters and other even off-world visitors too. Author James Gilliland says he used to have a secretary, was an officer in the Chamber of Commerce, and sold real estate in Southern California. Now he lives 20 miles north of Hood River in Trout Lake, Washington, where he says extraterrestrials are frequent visitors. And they come in from the Pleiades and from Orion, and they also come in from the Andromedas. And they've been watching over us for forever, basically, as overseers. UFOs seem to be elsewhere today, but Gilliland says photographs, all taken by others, prove they've been there. And this is the energy that surrounds me during the contact. And then right after this energy surrounded me, this was filmed just above my head. He even has videotape of a UFO. Yeah, here's that craft, and you can see the black void next to it. Taken by a friend on a flight to San Francisco. Gilliland says the ships gravitate to Trout Lake because of a spiritual energy there but they visit Earth because we need them. <laughs> well, we're kind of like a sore spot in the universe. We're one of the last places that hasn't come around. It's, it's like a little sore point in the universe that needs help right now, and that's they're coming to help us in our evolutionary process. He knows there are skeptics. Well, it's as you wish. You know, it's, it's, uh, we love them anyway. But he says it won't be long before UFOs start showing up everywhere. With photographer Carol Kuhn, David Okarski, Coin6 News. Well, if you want to find out more about it, you're welcome to go to that gentleman's website, and we'll link you there at coin.com. What do you think, Kelly? I was just going to ask you what you thought, so I wouldn't have to say what I thought. <laughs> Mark, what do you think? <laughs> so, Mark, what do you think? I mean, no, Jim, what do you think? Uh, we'll talk to Jim. Ask Jim at 11. In fact, give him a phone call. He'd love to talk about it. Okay, let's...